Doctor, the, the market conversation continues and let's actually put this question to, to Satish Ramadanthan who is joining us on the, on the show now. He is Chief Investment Officer at JM Financial Asset Management. Satish, uh, good morning. Good to have you on the show. So let's just start with this. Uh, do you think the market will be able to digest this? Global markets and India kind of take it in their stride because one narrative always has been that uh, rate hikes mean a good economy and therefore it's good for the stock market. But that doesn't seem to be the inter interpretation that markets are taking, at least right now. Good morning. Thanks for having me on board. Uh, and uh, this is the question that all of us discuss uh, ever so often. Uh, the main uh, aspect that we need to understand is higher interest rates acts as a break on the economy. And uh, it will be true that uh, the economy slowdown uh, will take place eventually. But what we see is corporate India's balance sheet and cash flows are fairly strong to uh, embark on a growth journey. Uh, corporate India's profits of the BSE 500 was close to 11,50,000 crores uh, in FI23, and that's set to increase. Uh, the kind of cash flows that corporate India is generating, if it's deployed into CapEx, that would keep the growth momentum going. So uh, given that corporate India has got a low debt to equity and strong profitability and cash flows, I think uh, we should take this in a measured manner, be cautious, but not panic. Okay, that is on, you know, how the central bank action could really sort of weigh in the markets right now. Satish, thanks a lot for joining us. So, you know, in the current setup that we are at now, pretty much at all-time high levels, right? What are the pockets that really stand out to you or, you know, that you feel are still ve fairly valued and you would feel comfortable putting some fresh money into? I think there is, uh, uh, in general, the manufacturing space still looks reasonable. There are pockets in the manufacturing space which have cooled off where we could probably invest. There are, uh, the banking uh, sector has cooled off considerably. That's also a pocket where we could look at from a, a growth to value paradigm perspective. So uh, I think there is uh, st uh, there are still areas to look at. Probably the cap goods space, some of them have run up a little ahead of expectations that may, may need to cool off before one looks to invest. But overall, I think uh, there are opportunities. Uh, Satesh, can you elaborate on that point when you're saying that uh, manufacturing, cap goods, they're still offering, uh, you know, uh, pockets of entry. Where exactly? Because ma manufacturing is a very large space. I mean, cutting across from auto to construction, engineering, etc. So could you narrow it down a bit more for us? I think the mainstream auto companies are still reasonably valued. If you look at the uh, frontline auto companies which make passenger cars or make uh, two-wheelers, manufacture two-wheelers, they are still at reasonable valuations and they have not necessarily participated uh, as much as some of the cap goods companies. So there is a pocket of opportunity there. And if you look at the auto ancillary companies, the kind of growth momentum they are witnessing is also fairly strong and one could look at them as well. But that is a far more selective process rather than uh, the cap goods space, which has been a broad brush. Hmm. Okay, got that. Satish, how are you looking at the IT space now? You know, we also had Accenture's uh, earnings come through overnight and they're sounding quite cautious. Do you think there are some pockets within the IT space which are still looking okay? I mean, we, we've been talking about the entire ER, ND play. Um, do you think that is something that is still alright or would you uh, perhaps look away from the entire IT pack? The momentum of earnings growth for the IT uh, sector has been declining, whether it be large cap or mid cap, across the past four quarters. And that is expected to continue. Uh, having said that, uh, valuations have also corrected. It's been the, probably amongst the worst performing sectors over a one year basis. And uh, it serves a good hedge against the currency volatility and uh, also focuses on free cash flow. So that's something which we will probably look at. But our bias is towards smaller niche IT names rather than the mainstream IT names. 
Okay, got that. That is on the IT space. Uh, Satish, thanks a lot for joining us and taking us through your call on some of these individual pockets. We do hope to have you back on the show soon so we can talk about a few more sectors as well. With that, we're going to get into a short break.